Reading through the Easter narrative every year is a habit that as Christians we have tried to cultivate. It's our way of reminding ourselves of the extent of the sacrifice that was made for us. Each year we hope to discover the story in a fresh way. This year, whilst preparing for this series, we wanted to look a little further beyond the regular beginning of the story to John chapter 17. Have you noticed that before he began his gruelling journey to the cross, Jesus' priority was to pray? We all know about the Garden of Gethsemane, but can skip over John 17. A full chapter prior to the Easter journey was dedicated to Jesus communing with the Father. It's as if Jesus, knowing what he was about to face, needed to fully immerse himself in the presence of the Father, giving him the power and the strength to withstand what was before him. Reading through chapter 17 of John, we are reminded of the importance of prayer. Prayer, simply put, is talking to God. To complicate prayer further is to heap burdens upon ourselves that we then struggle with. Jesus didn't change his tone, didn't put on a prayer voice, nor did he go on and on. He simply and honestly and with great vulnerability pleads with the Father to protect the people who belong to him. These are our thoughts, but as we travel through the story of Jesus' death, burial and resurrection, our question is this. What does today's scripture reveal to you? Each of us relates to God in a deeply personal and unique way. And rather than impose our interpretation onto you, we pray that you will discover what God is highlighting to you, for you. Intimacy is the mark of a healthy relationship, knowing one another and accepting one another wholly. God wants to speak to you personally today. And just as Jesus prepared himself for the cross in prayer, we want to encourage you to prepare yourself in prayer for what God may want to do in and through you this Easter time. Why not take some time, listen to some music and contemplate what God might say to you today? What does today's scripture reveal to you? How can you challenge yourself to look at the Easter narrative afresh this Easter period? What are you hoping God would do as you commit to exploring his word this Easter? Join us tomorrow where we will explore the betrayal and what you could change in your life if you met challenges head on, just as Jesus did as he prepared to face the cross.